all real estate is a good investment is simply false. You can't just buy any real estate and think it's a good investment. For example, you might be looking at this property right over here and you think, oh, it's $45,000, that's not bad. All real estate has to be good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and park my money in this property right over here. Wrong. There's so much more that goes into buying the right kind of property. The first thing is, are you buying this property at a good price? As a general rule of thumb, it's best to get a property at ARV times 0.7 minus the repair costs and minus the closing costs. Meaning if this property's after repair value is $100,000, then you're gonna go ahead and multiply by 0.7. Then you wanna subtract the repair cost. So as accurate as you can get, you wanna go ahead and estimate it. It's always good to be on the conservative side of things too. Judging from these pictures, let's just say the renovation is gonna be about $50,000. So we'll subtract $50,000 from that after repair value. Then you wanna subtract closing costs. And you can see here that the closing cost in Tennessee is gonna be about two to 5% of the home's purchase price. So let's just subtract $1,500 from this number. Now this is not even including hard money costs if you're buying properties with hard money and not just cash. It doesn't include the fact that you're actually going to be selling the property if you do decide to do so later on, which then you have to put in realtor fees. And so you can see your max allowable offer starts going down. Now, is there a number that would work for an investor? At the right price and the right terms, sure. But if you just bought a property without doing any analysis because you think all real estate is a good investment, whether it's for an investment property or for your primary residence, it's extremely important that you run your numbers so that you don't end up in a bad spot. Hope that helped and follow me for more tips like this.